let's look at this question. Uh, uh, so let's read it. Uh, two rectangles A, B, C, D. So you've got a re rectangle A, B, C, D of height 12 units and the width of 2 root 3. So what they're saying is uh, this this has a uh, sorry rectangle A, B, C, D has a height of 12 units and a width of 2 root 3 units. Okay, now what does that mean? Now this is a parabola and this is the y-axis and this is the x-axis and this parabola is uh, symmetrical over y-axis or in other words this rectangle ABCD is also symmetrical over the y-axis so this is your origin that's your O okay if that's O and if CD the width of ABCD is 2 root 3 this the distance from O to C would be root 3 and the distance from O to D would be minus root 3 and if we add them this is root 3 distance and this is also root 3 distance so root 3 plus root 3 is 2 root 3 okay and EFGH this is a rectangle EFGH uh, has a height of 2 this is 2 the height of 2 and a width of 2 root 2 sorry 4 root 2 uh, are drawn inside the parabola y is equal to, so this parabola has the equation y is equal to a minus b x squared so what they're saying is h g what they're saying is let me write that so h g is 4 root 2 okay and you can understand o g o g is half of h g the distance from O to G is half the distance from H to G. H to G. So O G you can understand is 2 root 2. Because half, half of 4 root 2. So this this point G, but G is 4, sorry, 2 root 2. Oops. Uh, use a smaller eraser. This is 2 root 2. 2 root 2 and h would be minus 2 root 2 okay and now you want to find the equation of the parabola basically they're asking you what's a and b okay so this point a this point b sorry this point b the x coordinate is 3 okay sorry the x coordinate would be uh, root 3 and the y coordinate is 12. Similarly, for A, the x coordinate is minus root 3 and the y coordinate is 12. If you take point E, E has the x coordinate of minus 2 root 2 and the y coordinate of 2. F similarly has a x coordinate of 2 root 2 and a y of 12, 2. Okay, now we want to find this, this from this information. We want to find the uh, values of a and b, which will give us the equation of the parabola, which is y is equal to a b x squared. So let me write the equation of y is equal to a minus b x squared. Now we can say point a is on the parabola. Okay, so the coordinate, these coordinates a, b, e, and f. Uh, are points on the so let us write that points a b e f are on this parabola okay so we can take any two point because basically we want to find only a and b so we need two equation and from two equation in terms of a and b we can find a and b so i'm going to put if you take say B, uh, for, say for B, can I say X is, X is root 3 and Y is 12. So I'm going to put this into this equation. Okay, so what will happen? So in place of 12, I can put, so in place of Y, I can put 12. So 12 is equal to A minus B times root 3 squared. So 12 is equal to a 
minus b times root 3 so root 3 squared is 3 so it is 3b so we, it, this implies we've got one equation a minus 3b is equal to 12. so this is the first equation uh, this is equation number one okay let me change color let me use a green color so for let me take g because I'm, i like to take the positive value so for g your x is so i'll try to finish it off here okay so for g my x is 2 root 2 and my y is 2 so i can put this in this in again in this equation so i'm going to put y as 2 so i can say 2 is equal to a minus b times 2 root 2 squared so 2 is equal to a minus b times so this is 2 squared so this is 2 squared is 4 times root 2 squared is 2 which is so the second equation is uh, the second equation is 2 is equal to a minus 8b which implies a minus 8b is equal to 2 we can use a calculator but I would like to do without the calculator then I'll show you one technique of how to do this whole example without doing any of this the calculator will give you the answer but as the question is you have to show all the working you have to show the working and with that method you can check your answer on your graphic calculator so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take away okay so this is equation 2 so I'm going to do 1 minus 2 let me change color let me use a black color now say black so I'm going to do 1 minus 2 equation 1 minus equation 2 so I'll put a minus like this this minus will only tell me a minus a gets cancelled so this is minus 3a so let me write that minus 3a minus minus 8p or take away minus 8p so I'll write it here so let me write show you a minus a is nothing but 0 here you are doing minus 3b take away minus 8b okay which becomes minus 3b plus 8b okay I hope it minus 3 my, take away negative means you have to add so this is nothing but 5b and 12 minus the same thing 12 minus 2 is 10 is equal to 10 so b dividing both sides by 5b is 2 okay and now we have got you can use one of the equations so let me use the smaller equation a minus 8b is equal to 2 so a minus 16 because 8 times 2 is 16 is 2 so and if you add 16 to both sides is 18 does the equation make sense so the equation is y is equal to what is a 18 minus 2x squared it does make sense what does the equation tell me the y intercept is this is a uh, basic parabola which has which is flipped over there is a dilation of 2 and it has moved 18 up so this is the equation of now how to do this on a graph how to get this on a graphic calculator so there is a uh, cheeky way of doing this on a calculator but you have to go and do in stats menu go to stats menu and i'm going to enter three points any three points you need three points to get the equation because for a parabola you need three points i'm going to enter the x-intercept on list one and the y and the y sorry x coordinate in list one and y coordinate in list two so the x coordinates that i've got is root three so you go shift root three uh, then you can put any three points so let me put two root two so two shift root two okay just like that and let me put minus two shift root two okay and you have to put in the corresponding y values so the y coordinate is for root 3 was 12 
for this point it was 2 and for this point again it was 2 okay and then you have to go graph and you have to go to your setup this should be a setup you are drawing a scatter graph of these three points so your x value is in list 1 and your y value is in list 2. If you if you have learned scatter diagram, this would make sense. I'm not going into much detail. So you go exit and then draw it. So these are the three points. Okay. This and uh, this is this point. This point is this point and okay. Now then we go to F1 which is calculate and we are we know that the equation is a parabola. So I'll uh, press F4 under x squared. So this is the equation y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. Your c is 0. So it's minus, this is same as, this is minus 2x squared. Does it make sense? a is your minus 2 and your b is, b is, there's no value of b and your c is 18 because there's no value of x there. There's only the constant c. And if you want to check it, this is your, uh, this is your parabola, okay. Now, just to go to check it, you can go back and uh, type in this equation, 18 minus 2x squared in your graph menu, okay. And then graph, this is your parabola. Now, to just check whether it makes sense, your y, your maximum is 0, 18, okay. So, you go G solve, your maximum is 0, 18. And just to one, one more checking, when x is root 3, y is 12. So, you go G solve and you go x calc, okay, x calc or y calc, y calc, what's your x value, root 3. So, press shift root 3, when x is root 3, y is 12. So this way we have checked the answer and this is uh, an excellence question in algebra uh, level 2 NCEA. See you in the next